Hi there, my name's David Noakes. I'm a DJ and producer. I've recently gone over to Recordbox, which I love, and uh, recommended to me by my mate Chris Pullin, actually. Great DJ and um, good call, because it really is superb. But, like all these softwares, there's always a few glitches and a few issues and a few things you have to get around. So, now this this is a, just a, a video to explain something that is actually quite simple once someone shows you, but it's quite, for me, it was just a bit fiddly to work it out. I couldn't import my playlist into a second machine straight in a straightforward way and I was quite surprised at that actually and I even contacted Pioneer Technical Support who told me it wasn't possible in the way I was asking maybe I didn't explain it very well okay so there is a function um, if, if you want to get your database to, to another machine I'll use that loosely and explain why because inside the software in settings in advanced you've got move database option this is the way that comes up when you google this question how do I get my playlist onto a second machine this is what comes up it's a great tool works really well it does what it says in the tin it moves your database so if you want to have your database on an external drive it's great um, but it's not ideal for everyone I mean I, I don't want that I want mine on two machines so the backup machine is ready to go at a moment's notice if the first machine fails. And to me, it's not ideal to have a, a hard drive in my database on. I've had problems before when I've used external drives. So, yeah, I just, just don't want to do that. So can't believe they haven't got a copy database function below it. But that's just the way it works. So the way to do it is to basically uh, get all your music into the other machine. You can just copy the, the music folder, put it on an external drive paste it into the new machine wherever you want it and then either drag the folder up as you know <coughs> excuse me into collection here and it'll scan all of your tracks I found a quicker shortcut uh, by going to file library backup library on the first machine back that up onto an external drive go onto your second machine and restore it and it brings it all in but it doesn't bring the playlist in now I did speak to another DJ at the place of the club where I, where I play it and he said to me, in Windows, it does bring the playlist in as long as the file structure in the second machine is identical to the to the first machine. So maybe I've got something not quite right there. I don't think I have. I think everything is identical because I copied it straight over. But anyway, you may find that that works for you. I personally don't think it will, but let me know if it does. Um, so anyway, so you've basically at this point now got your library of music in your second machine come back to the first machine click file uh, and then you want to export your collection in XML format I won't do it because I've been through this already this is this is just meant to be a, a quick guide this video anyway when you do click that it'll bring another window up you can then save your file wherever you want to save it on your computer and then copy that onto a USB stick or a removal drive paste it into your backup machine once you've done that you need to get it into the second machine obviously and get all your playlists working for you doesn't do it in a standard way you might think you think you might want to go up here and import it as you can see there's no option to do that so yeah you can't bring it back in you've got the export there but not import now the way to do it is you go to settings and the first thing you want to do is make sure that in the advanced tab your imported library here in Recordbox XML points to wherever you've just put that new file. That's crucial. That's where I was going wrong to start with because it otherwise it, it won't explain that to you when you try and do the next step. It will just tell you that it fails. It can't read it, basically. So you've done that. Okay. Then go to View and make sure this little tick here is ticked. Recordbox XML in Layout. Okay. And that will now bring that up in the tree on the left. So close that down. And there you go, there it is there. Again, won't do it, can't do it, because I've got my original XML file on here, so I won't do anything. But on the second machine, when I did it earlier, you just literally click this little play button here, and it'll scan that file and bring all your playlists back in in seconds. I've got, as you can see, quite a large collection, and it really was quite quick. Um, incidentally, this backup and restore, like I said to you earlier, took, I think, about an hour on the other machine when I did it the old fashioned way and just dragged everything in to the collection up here uh, and let it build its own database it took three days <laughs> it took forever 
so anyway so that is the way that i did it um and i've tried quite a few different ways that work best for me hope it works for you and uh yeah maybe it'll help you out okay cheers <laughs>